where's the spooky things that are gonna be just how's it going everyone welcome back to flames place and today we are checking out lilith's curse 1984 demo which if you click on story mode tells you this game's demo has no direct relation to the main title so it's more of a mechanic thing i think but this is available over in itch.io and i have a link in the description box down below as well as links to my discord page on twitter if you'd like to check any of those out and i know that this has a camera function which is similar in mind to it's also ps1 style graphics with a filter it seems similar to uh, madison which is coming up soon and really excited for loved that when i first played it many years ago there you go that's, that's a cool little uh, title screen i like it forming the walls too very silent hill-esque And also, it was kind of weird at the beginning in the menu, it was showing like coding that says you will die and other things. Very uh, directed towards me personally. <laughs> okay, so the PS1 style is not actually a style, it seems, maybe? A little bit. I don't know, it looks, definitely looks better than a PS1 game, that's for sure. I didn't, even, I, I didn't go as far as to say PS2. A little bit of aliasing going on, but still got some jagged pixels also there's a piece of dust or something floating around my office all right well let's see oh they did a crap job at locking me in here although maybe i don't want to go out judging by the stagnant water and all the bones i have i see strewn across the ground here yeah, this like filtering that's making everything kind of somewhat green is very throwing me off. I saw a camera set up. Oh, maybe I don't have the camera yet. Oh, let's go down this dark hallway. It's the only thing that's you know visible, which is this light. Oh, this is the camera. Press R to use camera. Awesome. Press tab. Find the battery. Find the exit key. Save the cheerleader. Save the world. Got it. How do I... Oh no, there's a sound. How do I, um, like, enable a black and... Oh, whoa! Okay, photo save videotape. Okay, interesting. Nope, that's empty. Okay, how do I get out of... Okay, let's just put that away. Alright, still trying to land the controls a little bit, it seems. Yeah, that's just, like, pitch black. How am I supposed to... Oh, F? Yeah, okay, so F enables like a, uh, I, I was going to say night vision, but it's not really. It actually makes it much harder to see. I don't think I'm supposed to go this way. This leads me back to where I was. Do I have a flashlight with this? Oh, oh, actually the light from the camera is fairly bright. Okay, that's not too bad. I can deal with that. It's very it's very hard to see it though still. Very dark and spooky. Oh, here we go. We found a tunnel. Follow the signs. Oh. Whoa, wait, hold up. I'm kind of confused. So looking at the camera right here, if I move to the right, the camera moves to the left. That's a little weird. But don't come after help. A door that I can open from quite far away. Right, lower the camera again. Okay, that's the same door. Ah, here you go. Here's some more things. Yeah, it's like showing me what's behind me instead of what's in front, but also... I'm so confused. This just feels wrong to me. I don't know what it is. It's like... It's like flying an airplane in a game without the inverted controls, but then also playing a first-person shooter with inverted controls. I can't stand that. I, I, I never understood that idea. I mean, I've seen the pictures where they're like, oh yeah, if you had a joystick on the back of someone's head, moving it up would make them look down and all that stuff. But I don't believe that. Wolf. I. What is that? Is there something there? Is that something or is that? I think that's just lights. Okay, well, there's a door here. When we open, we can go through this. Uh, let's pull the thing up again. Take a look around. Nope. Okay. I do. I have to say, I do like the idea. Oh, there's some bones. Got ourselves some spooky, scary skeletons around here. It seems. I like the idea of um, 
the guide markers only showing up on the camera. Just the execution seems a bit weird to me. I don't know if that's like supposed to be some kind of like mirror world thing or if that's just a glitch in the camera display. But it's it's throwing me off a bit. Like But okay, wait, so now I'm looking here and it is correct though. It's showing the corner. I'm so, uh, it just it feels like it feels so weird. Alright, I'm looking for uh, writing on the walls. There's something, maybe? Or is that just... I I don't know. But, nope, this is the same thing I was just at. Oh. Oh. That's a handprint. Alright, so I think we're doing... We're, I think we're going the right way. There's some spooky stuff going on here. Do I go this way? Is this the way I just came? I'm very confused. This is the exact way I should just... Oof! I managed to walk in a giant circle, it seems. Okay, cool. Let's go this way. This is the door I just opened. Do I need to open this door, or is this door... Nothing. This game is so dark. This is where I got the camera. Oh my god. I'm so good at game. I'm so good at games, everyone. Oh. And I know what you guys are all here for. You're here for the uh, speedrun strats and top game plays. I'm not going to disappoint. Uh, I'm in a corner. I might disappoint. A little bit. Just, just a tiny, you know, a tiny little bit of disappointment. Like when you order a, a cheeseburger and it's just a regular burger. Like, you're like, it's still a burger, I'm still gonna eat it, but also, I wanted the cheese. Yeah, I'm I'm the burger without cheese. That, we'll go with that. That's a good description, I think. Alright, let's loop around here. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, hey, it's getting funky. Pull up the camera. Oh my god, nope. Put down the camera. I can't see crap. Oh, I need something to break this. What are we in the biscuit? What are we talking about? Gonna break stuff? I need to find something to break boards. An axe, a crowbar, a, there's a multitude of things that could, I could use. I think there's something to my right. Oh, yep, there's definitely something to the right too. Oh, what's this? Oh, press F to, to night vision mode. Oh my god, this is great. This is exactly what I wanted. Holy crap, yep, that's awesome. Oh man, perfect. This is so much easier to play now. I can see everything. Do I want to see everything? Where's the spooky things that are going to be just... Hello, I just talked about you, didn't I? Oh, I summoned the spooky things. Very tall looking. You know, probably smells like sewage. But very tall. Hopefully we can get a, a better look at that spooky thing. This is where I came in at, so I don't want to go there. I want to go down that hallway because... Okay, do I, can I sprint? I really don't have a sprint. Coordinates, too. That's interesting. There was a readme file that I did briefly skim over because, you know, normally I don't read instructions in games, but this time I was like, let me just go ahead and do that. And one of the things it did reference was coordinates may be needed. So... Perhaps that will come in play at some point. At least here I can sit on those and you know wring the uh, the poo water out of my socks, I guess. Wait. Wait a second. This is those are the boards I need to break. I go this way? This is where I came in at though. Ooh boy. Is there something in here? It sounds like I'm hearing something. Also, I believe my wife might be brushing her teeth, which I could be hearing that. It's scaring even more. Yeah, I don't, oh, oh, I can zoom in. Okay, so that's not something I care about. That's just the torch. Right, awesome. Oh God, I can zoom in a lot. I don't like that. All right. So I need something I can break that with. 
I'm trying to think of any rooms that I have not checked out that I know I haven't checked out yet. This is where I got the key. That's where I came in at. Over there. I'll go back here, maybe? If there's something. I don't know if it's the screen getting fuzzier or just my vision blurring from looking at this night vision stuff all this long, but this is actually where I came in at. There is one hallway. I think that just leads to that, that room that I found with the, the bones. So we can hopefully just go back with our powerful new night vision and see if we can find anything new. What's that? That's just a, a, a pallet? Okay. Oh no, that's a cage. Okay. That's a little weird. That's uh... Being in a cage in the sewers. Okay, cool. I'm back here now. Crap. I'm, I'm back at home, it seems. And our friend is surely deceased. Just bones now. Hmm. So I need to find a crowbar, an axe, or something like that. And hopefully not get murdered by a tall thing. I actually, I am saying, I gotta say, I am liking this so far. The ambiance, very minimal, which makes sense. It's, we're in the sewers. The only thing I can hear is the sloshing of my feet through what is surely poo water. Most most assuredly. And um, that tall thing, which I'm even more on edge because it's like, well, when's that thing going to show back up? Is there going to be something to do in this room, maybe, then? Oh. Oh. Okay, I see. I'm just the derp. I'm supposed to open these up. You know, generally, I, I don't... F okay, I found the axe. Uh, I can't pick up the axe, though. There we go. Got it. And I also can't swing the axe. Alright. How do I swing the axe? Oh, look, don't, don't turn off that. There we go. We're not... We're just going to leave the axe here in the pool water. We're not going to pick it up and carry it with us. Awesome. Great. Yep. Definitely probably the best course of... Damn it. Freaking cheap ass boards falling all on top of my head like that. I could have a concussion. I'm going to sue the city. Why would we not just take the axe with us? It makes so much more sense. What is this? There's something glowing here. It's a key. Okay. Oh, so this is where the coordinates take place. 18. So 18. We'll just say, I mean, the, 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 the 4.8, I don't think matters too much. I think the 18 and the 0.7 are what really matter. So we want to go towards the left. And to the... Oh! Oh no! That's bad. Get in, get in the coffin, yep. Wow. Okay, yeah, we saw those things. Holy crap. We did not expect to see two of them at once. And, yeah, they're pretty creepy. Also, we hit in a coffin? I think it's gotta be rotten and moldy. Alright, well, we're gonna head back to where that one was because it's the only way I can go. So, 18 and 0.7. So, it's along this line here. It's right on the other side of this wall, I think. I just gotta find my way there. Can I go through here? Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me, things. 18. And 7. Over here? Nope. Wait. Oh. Oh, crap. This is negative. So it's actually that way. Alright. Ooh. Yep. So I gotta, le I gotta go down this way instead. I don't think I'm going to be able to hit 18 here. Nope, definitely not going to. I'm not going to bother trying. Just my, my basic understanding of coordinates and how they work. 
I do like that idea though. I think that the coordinate system they put in here is pretty clever. Like you can tell the player where something is, but you don't exactly show them a map or anything like that. It it reduces a lot of the frustration that comes from getting lost in maze games without making it completely dumbed down. Also, I'm definitely going back to where I started at. Like I said, the frustration. I, so I, I know there's an exit. I know where the exit is. I just gotta find it. Just gotta f not even find it. Find my way to it. Can't, can't quite do anything with that. Nope, okay. Just want to double check. I didn't get a good look at the monsters either. Okay, that's a... That's a... A thump sound I just heard. Alright. So we want to go. Well, wait, the last. Does it say 0. 0.4, 4.8? 4. No, I think that would be. That would probably be elevation, wouldn't it? And I'm just going further away here. This, this way. 0.7. I'm like trying to figure out where I can need it. Yeah, it's definitely not here. Where are you need to go? This, yeah, this is definitely further away. This is closer towards it. Then there's the damn wall in the way. So I gotta loop around here, maybe? This is basically the way I just came in from, though. Like the coffin, I think, is right down that way. And by right down that way, I'm pretty sure I have to make another turn. Nope, there's a coffin. I was right. Hey, look at me. Remembering things. I can't go back. Okay. They slammed the door on me, it seems. Ooh, spooky noises. Okay, so I'm getting closer to the 18. Oh, that's the exit there. Okay, so how do I get into it? Take a look. It's in a book. Reading Rainbow. Alright, so I'm just gonna... Can I go this way? No. So how do I get up the... Oh, oh, I have to go up? How do I get up? Oh, oh my god, there's a freaking ladder. Of course there's a ladder, I notice it. Of course there would be a ladder. So I can just drop down, right? If I just drop down, I should be okay. We'll escape. I did it. I, I, I did it, and by I did it, I got a loading screen. Oh, I was kind of hoping I was going to be like, loading. Congratulations, you win. Nope, it's more of the game. Which is actually cool. I'm enjoying this. It's very creepy. That's... Oh, double doors. Okay. Either those doors open. Never mind. A real fake door. Perfect. Coffin. Okay, I might need to escape here. There's scratches. There's a lot of coffins, actually. They're all laying about. Okay, those are coordinates again. Crap, so I gotta figure out where I'm going. Oh, I heard something. I mean, look, do the monsters not see me hop into the coffin? That's a little weird, but... I mean, I'm not gonna complain about the fact that I didn't die. That's for sure. Uh, that door doesn't open. That is a dead end. Okay, so... I'm gonna go this way. A lot of doors that just don't do any... Whoa, what is this? Oh. Creepy things. Creepy pictures. Okay. There's footsteps here. I got a key. Uh oh. I think that woke something up. Yep. Oh, that definitely woke something up. Hi. I see you look like you were about to go running or something before your untimely death. Maybe? Uh, do I hide? Can I hide somewhere, maybe? Nope. Okay, cool. I just gotta go. Oh, oh wait. Hold up. There's something I could do here. 
What did I just do? What did I just do? Did I, did I play the piano? Can't jump, I can't crouch, okay. So I definitely did something with the piano. I don't know what I did though. Let's see if we can trigger her to chase me. Nope, she'll, she seems fine. Okay. Seems kind of weird that... Oh, she's gone. Okay. I had to just lower the camera. <laughs> no, that was good. That was... That was damn good. Can't be mad. That was a really good scare. I, was, I thought I was safe. Good. Good. Good shit, developer. Holy crap. All right. I'm all for this game now. At first, I was like, mm, this seems like a lot of night vision games that I've played. Very Outlast-esque. That one? That's what sold me. Holy crap. That was terrifying. All right. So, there's a coffin there. Do I need to keep track of them? I don't know. I mean, we'll try. I already got that. What did I grab anyway? I wasn't paying attention in the slightest. I kind of got distracted by sports bra wearing monster girl. Who then proceeded to yell at me? That makes sense. That 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 reads. Oh, that's my own footsteps. Okay. So did I open up? What did I do? I know where the exit is. I need to go I need to go down actually. How do I how do I get down? I don't remember seeing any stairs downward, only the ones going upward. I can hide. Confirmed we can't hide. I don't really want to hide right now. So PR that's PR. XYZ, I know what that is. It's the PR that confuses me. Can't go that way anymore. I should block that off. Yeah, I need to, I need to go down. That's definitely because that would be the negative eight. No, no. It's my Z. Oh, okay. So it's where I'm looking at matters as well. Oh, person, and then the other ones are all rotation. Oh my god. Okay. I get it now. So I don't know what that I I mainly just have to worry about the the top one then, right? Because the other ones don't really matter. Do I need to get do I need to get through that door? What if I got any items? I can't Uh, let me see. Nope, that's empty. Backspace. Nope. Oh, okay. Memory one. Oh. Two. Three. Four. Okay, that doesn't really help me at all, but that's... Oh, I, I guess that's what happened. I know exactly what that was about, but... Sure. Do I just have to take these stairs down all the way again? Do I just return to where I was before? Will it let me? No, it doesn't. Okay. So, yeah, this is definitely where it is. Oh my god, I did I did I not try that door? I thought I could just want to try that door, but I guess not. Okay, spooky things. I got a letter. Status warning? Why does it say warning in the top... On, on the middle right. Status warning. That does... Oh. Okay, that was good. I saw something out of the corner of my eye, barely. Um, did that reveal something? No, it doesn't seem like it did. Alright, so... Oh, I don't have an exit anymore either. 
Oh, now this door's open. That's a problem. Uh, mostly because that door is just wide open, which means something was in here at one point. Okay. It's no longer in there, neither am I. Pretty sure I just died. And then like this. This is like technical stuff, like Java and programming stuff. It's not really 1984-esque. Die Let's Curse 1984 demo. Solo developer. Dude, props to you, man. That was awesome. Yeah, I like this a lot. So there was, yeah, you used some models. That's, that's fine. Like I, I, I wasn't like, oh yeah, those all look the same. I've seen them a thousand times before. Dude, that was awesome. Thank you for playing. Oh, no problem. Yeah, let me know what you thought about this though. I'm actually really excited for this. This was awesome. And it, like I said, this has like a technical feel while still having a retro-esque kind of, I don't know, like it's really hard to describe how, how I feel about this game. Also, apparently I was only playing that at 1080 by 720. Yeah, like this. You must die hell. Hell die, you can't survive this. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't, I, I'm just excited. This is awesome. Like the, the, the scares that I did get, were good the build up was awesome and i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did let me know what you thought about 1984 lilith's curse or lilith's curse in the comments down below give me a thumbs up i really do appreciate that and also make sure to subscribe so you get this release new content and as always have a great day remember to burn bright i will talk to you all later bye